three, seven through nine. James three, seven through nine. For every kind of beast and bird and rep of reptile and sea animal can be tamed and has been tamed by human genius nature. Um, yes, animals can be trained, animals can be tamed, but they also got that vicious wild side where they can attack as well. Um, we see whales, snakes, tigers, birds, all these things are able to be trained by man, but yet man has trouble controlling his own speech, and only by the spirit can this truly be attained. And Paul's saying, you y'all genius can do all this. We have trouble controlling what we say, which is true. He's not saying it's impossible. He's just making a point, saying that it's more important to train our tongue than to train all these. Verse 8, but the human tongue can be tamed by no man. It's only by the power of God that it's tamed. Um, it is a restless, undisciplined Unreconcilable evil from deadly poison, full of deadly poison. So, what he's saying is the tongue brings, well, the scripture talks about how the tongue, mouth brings out what's in the heart, and without Christ, what's in the heart is impure. So, what would come out was impure, which is, as he says, the deadly poison. Verse 9 With it we bless the Lord and the Father, and with it we curse men who were made. In God's likeness. So what he's saying is. He, he's calling out hypocrites. He's saying you bless God. But you curse man. That, that shouldn't be. The mouth isn't to be. You ain't to have a forked tongue. Talk out of the two sides of your mouth. Let it be all honoring God. Because that's the way it's meant to be. Control our tongues. And honor God. Allowing the Spirit to control our tongues so we honor God.